You may recognize the comb filter from the old Maelstrom that we all know and love. If you don't, or don't remember off the top of your head, you won't soon forget it after we go through this. The comb filter, like all of the filters within Thor, is unique within its usage. When it comes to ethereal, grandiose, and surreal with phasey love, the comb filter can quickly transport you to a galaxy far, far away. Before I talk about it more, let me give you a quick demonstration. I've got this simple warm pad right now. Thanks to a couple of analog oscillators slightly pitched, I'm going to go ahead and play a bit. Now, I'll go ahead and add in some delay. Now, I'll throw on my comb filter on filter 3. I'm going to go ahead and play while moving the frequency and resonance knobs. Awesome. Hear that crazy ethereal effect when I move the frequency knob? Love it. You'll notice while moving the frequency and resonance knobs, I get this strange flanging, phasing, pitching delay type effect. That's because that's really what a comb filter does. It's called a comb filter because it really does have a comb-shaped waveform cutting through the frequency of the patch, introducing subtle delays and pitch shifts. As the resonance is raised, you get more feedback from the shifts. So imagine how like a low pass filter has this like one all encompassing wave that just kills all the high frequencies. Okay, the comb filter has this one kind of shape that has a comb that actually moves through and cuts and raises frequencies at the same time, especially depending on how you push up the resonance knob. Neat, right? Here's a really fun trick. I'll add on an LFO again to this filter, but this time I'll set the LFO as a random square wave. So, okay, source LFO one, Now, random square wave. We'll give it a subtle strength so it's almost in the background. And it's synced on my LFO. Then I'll set up filter 3 as my destination. Hear the steps, it's almost like notes are being introduced, but they aren't. Kind of like an arpeggiator, but it really isn't there. A ghost arpeggiator, if you want to call it that. I can also switch between plus and minus mode. This shifts the direction of the comb from up to down. In minus mode, for example, it will actually cut low frequencies depending on where the frequency knob is. I really love this filter, and when you mix it in with the formant filter, which we're going to work on next, oh man, it's gorgeous. I'll see you in the next video.